The Competence Committee is a, a group of people who have been really put together very carefully in a very constructive fashion to review the residents as they uh, proceed through their training. And from a CBME point of view, which is very different from where we used to be, it's a continuum and it's a spectrum. And it's going to be imperative for those members of the Competence Committee to really have a good understanding of the process by which the resident is training in now. So the EPAs, the milestones that they meet, and that this is a, a competence to practice. A Competence Committee is a place where the multiple small observations made by uh, most likely faculty over a period of time about a particular resident are brought together to create a picture, a, a rather detailed and reliable picture of where our resident is at in their training. So what will change the most from a competence perspective is that we will now be working within the uh, national competence framework which will involve a measure of PAs and milestones. There is a huge increase in the number of assessments and we're introducing new assessment tools. So it makes more sense to have a specific body or structure who can look after all of those uh, assessment, new assessments. Having this closed look will allow us also to identify people who are struggling in the training very early and people in medical education know exactly how important it is in trying to improve things early on. This is about being able to integrate everything that you've learned over the last sort of two years or three years or even in that first six months of training to make yourself competent for what you're required to do at that time frame. Right? And eventually that time frame is when you graduate.